So if you want to see how I created this look, just keep on watching. Okay, going in with my ColourPop Disney Designer palette. I've been using this palette so much recently. I'm going in with my fave shade Grumpy. Yeah, I've been loving this palette recently. It's like, can't get enough of it. I guess the whole point in having makeup and whatnot is so that you actually use it. And I know that this is most definitely a fave because I just can't stop using it. I am gonna use it with another palette today. I'm not going to just use this one, but I'll be using it for this one shade. It's like, I've said it before, I'm gonna say it again, it's my favorite transition shade is that grumpy shade. Now I'm going to use my Pastel Goth palette. This was limited edition and I'm really sorry, but this is the only palette that I have that has like pure pastel colors, I think. Well, this was the first one that I thought of anyway. So I'm gonna be going in with Clementine, this one here. And I'm gonna be using that same blending brush. I'm just going to put it here. These two shades are quite similar. See, that's the thing with this palette. It's like, I can't get it to stay open. The top of it just wants to close. Oh, well, no big deal. So what am I doing today? Um, I have got to finish washing the couch covers because every once in a while because like my kids and whatnot like they eat on the couch and stuff gets on the couch and like this and i want my couch to be clean when i sit down yeah so i need to finish cleaning all of the the couch covers because there's so many it's like they've, they've got the four actual seat parts the, the actual seat cushions and then there's like cushions all around the back of it as well so there's like a bunch of covers that i have to wash so I'm on, I'm on doing the last four. And then once those have all dried, I can just put my couch back together again. So there's that. I need to clean the bathroom. I need to change my sheets. So it's, I guess it's just doing house stuff. And obviously I'm going to be doing some videos as I'm doing now. I'll do like the other videos that I'm planning to do after I have done my housework. Okay, so I have done the Clementine color. You know, I'm just so into these kind of shades. Now I'm going to go into, I hate holding this up. I'm gonna go into Gloom, which is this green shade just here. I'm going to be using a crease brush because I want to be a bit more precise. I'm not going to just be putting it anywhere and everywhere. So using that color, I'm going to put it right on the center. It's not often that I even use green. This is a really nice shadow. I can't deny it. It's so pretty. Hmm. I don't want to put it all over the lid. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get another crease brush. Okay, so using another packing brush, I'm going to go back in with Clementine here. Clementine here and I'm going to pack that colour on the edge and on the inner and then I'm just going to carefully go along the top as well and now I'm just going to blend that edge Same thing here and there and along the top. I'm going to use the excess of the green just to help blend the edges. See, when I'm blending edges, I, I like to use 
both brushes that I had used. So for example, I'm using a pink and I'm using the green. So I blend with the pink brush first and then I'll go back and I'll blend with the green brush. That way I, I feel like whatever I may have erased using one of the brushes, I can put back using the other brush, if that makes sense. Therefore having a bit more of an even blend. Mm -hmm. I actually quite like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go off camera, I'm gonna do my foundation. I'm gonna come back when I'm ready to do my wing liner and my mascara and my lower lash line, so BRB. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I have done my makeup. So now I'm gonna be doing my lower lash line. So I'm going to be using the same brushes that I was using for the top of my lid. So I'm gonna just go in with a little bit of that green and get a little bit more on my brush because the excess just doesn't seem to be enough at this point. So. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my winged liner and I'm using my elf liner. So, I'm gonna try and do like a cat eye. And immediately after I go in with my mascara because I've always managed to get liner on my lashes, always. Do you guys ever have that problem? Cute. This is the Bourjois Dark Coal Mascara. Am I the only one? But like, am I the only one who ever feels like their liner is never even like one eye is always like a little bit higher than the other or i've done the liner a little bit thicker than the other one am i the only one who gets that that happens to me pretty much every single day but i'm working on it see this one's more of a little flick and this one it's a little bit more bold this always happens it's not like the end of the world or detrimental or anything like that but i just wish i could get them both the exact same now i'm gonna do the lower lash line And the thing with this particular mascara, it's like I've had it for a little while. So it's a little bit clumpy and I like a little bit of clumpy on my lower lashes because then you can actually see the mascara. You can actually see the definition. Right, so I've done my hair and all of that good stuff. I actually quite like this. This is a cute little look like i want to do a little bit of a pop of color i don't want to go too crazy too over the top i just want to do a little and that's it you know this is cute i think i might do this again mm -hmm. let me go take some pictures y'all okay so anyway if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video